Hi, I'm Scott, and today I want to show you my smart Raspberry Pi controlled power strip. Have you ever had the problem where you just sat down and you realized that you need to turn a light on or off, but the switch for the light is all the way over there? Well, if you have a smart power strip, you can turn it on or off through your own browser. Or, if you don't want to open a browser because you have to click on something and navigate to a website, which is quite a bit of work, you could do what I do and just have another physical switch sitting on your desk and turn it on or off that way. And you can have an array of switches sitting on your desk to turn on or off all of your smart power strips at your whim. Today we're going to show you how. The project we're going to be doing today is a Raspberry Pi controlled smart outlet that can control two outlets through our two channel relay. Uh, this is all encompassed in a housing that we can put a faceplate on to keep it safe. And then we can activate this uh, power strip either through a web browser or through a physical switch. The physical switch that I have is actually controlled by another Raspberry Pi right here. And all I have to do is flip this switch. And of course this is all being done uh, over 802.11. Uh, wireless so it's just as easy to flip it with the light switch as it is to click the web IO buttons on a web browser so this will let you remotely access all of your light switches with the convenience of still being able to use a physical switch if desired parts that you're gonna need to complete this project include an enclosure you can pick this up at Lowe's or Home Depot it's the kind of thing that goes behind the drywall that you uh, pounded into the studs uh, in this particular project, I used two standard outlets, then I used a two-channel relay. We'll try to get this guy to focus here. Come on, you can do it. There we go. A two-channel relay that can interface with the Raspberry Pi uh, through these control lines right here. Then here's a Raspberry Pi. This is actually the uh, B Plus model. And then an important aspect of this is the wireless USB uh, Wi-Fi adapter. Just uses 802.11n, um, and then that way you can place this anywhere in the house as long as you can connect. And then you can turn these um, circuits on or off through the control lines via a web browser. Then you're also going to need some uh, wire. I used uh, solid 14 gauge uh, copper wiring a few uh, caps to uh, connect all the wires together. Then uh, you're going to need a power supply for your Raspberry Pi. The power supply is actually going to be powered via a female adapter that is going to just plug onto here and then we're going to run wires out of here that will all be fed from the wall. So we're going to cap them all together at the wall and then uh, afterwards, when we're all done, we have a faceplate, and then this guy's gonna go and plug into the wall with some wires running out going into it. The finished product is gonna look something sort of like this. We have the wire that goes to the wall, our two outlets, our relay. Then behind the relay, it's a little difficult to see. Let me turn on some lights. Behind the relay, is our Raspberry Pi and then we just have our wires capped together and then you're able to operate the power strip as expected. The Raspberry Pi to the relay board we use these control lines. Uh, in this particular case the yellow and the orange control lines are connected to the 5 volt and ground respectively on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, similarly, those are plugged into the ground and 5 volt on the relay board. And then the red and brown control lines are plugged into the uh, first and second uh, GPIO pins, which are used in the control lines. If we can get the camera to focus on this guy. Come on, you can focus. There we go, in one and in two, 
get the red and brown respectively than just simply using the software on the Raspberry Pi. You can flip these guys on and off. Here up the other part of the relay, uh, I just took two solid 14 gauge copper wires uh, and then each one, one of, one of them is to power one relay, the other to power the other relay. And all I've done is loosened up this top screw here and this top screw right here. And then all you have to do is slide the wire into the little guy and then screw it down. And then the other end of these wires will get attached to the wall power in the same cap that I'm going to use with powering the Raspberry Pi. I've attached the two uh, negative wires into each relay. Again, this board has two relays. If we look just at the top relay, we can see that we have the wall power set up. And then in order to make this connect to our remotely controlled outlet, here we have our little outlet. Uh, I've attached the ground negative and the neutral wire. Ultimately what will happen is we're going to take this um, black negative line and we're going to insert it into this second screw right there. Then when the top relay is closed it'll complete the circuit allowing current to flow from the wall into this outlet which will then activate uh, both these outlets so we can power them up. Uh, of course you have to wire the uh, neutral line into the neutral wall and then ground everything as well. Time to assemble the box. We have one outlet screwed in. We're going to put the other outlet in later. Uh, in the meantime we just need to have more space to cram stuff in. Uh, in my left hand here, I have the uh, 120 volt to 5 volt DC converter to power the Raspberry Pi. Um, this will plug in right there to power the Raspberry Pi. Then uh, this is just a uh, female adapter that has two uh, little wires hanging out uh, because the Raspberry Pi is only 5 volt DC up to uh, what one 700 milliamps or 1.2 amps on the Model B Plus. Uh, we don't need super thick wire, um, so I'm just going to use this skinnier wire and cap it in with the wall power um, to power it uh, once we get everything all wired up. Now we've wired everything up. We have the relay. Uh, back there is the Raspberry Pi. And then the uh, power for the Raspberry Pi is back behind this outlet right here. We have the uh, wall power coming in through this cable. And then here are the caps for the ground, the neutral, and the negative. And so if we bring up uh, the website and I choose to toggle, we can see that we are turning this relay on and off. The relay is closed when the light is off, and it's open uh, when the light is on. And then, correspondingly, our light turns on and off.